Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Surviving Mars. We have built our dome and we need to get some people in here. This is the first episode I've recorded after recording the three episodes that have currently been uploaded. So I may be taking in advice that I've been given in the comments section such as building wind turbines. Apparently, I guess it diversifies our energy problems. It will allow us to not run out of power in the middle of the night. Even though right now the batteries seem more than capable of maintaining it, so I don't know if I will do it right away. But if it becomes a problem, it'll be something that I do. But yeah, we currently have three buildings that aren't working. That would be because we have no people. So we should probably get a passenger rocket here that will allow us to get more people here. But first thing I just quickly want to do is, can we do any... Uh, planetary things. No, we need people. Okay, so let's send that back to Earth. Ooh, the resources on board. Uh, what launch sequence? We have too much metal. Well, isn't that a problem? Let's quickly build ourselves a place to store. Not a universal depot. Almost. Depot for... Metal. We'll build another one, just so we can unload the rocket. That will make things easier for us. Oh, if I send that rocket away, doesn't that mean... Um, yes, that's not big enough to get... <laughs> Whoops! I'll be fine. We still have the RC Seeker to look after the concrete mine. Could you drones please empty the rocket? I still love these drones. They're my favourite thing in this entire game. Sector scanned. Oh, hello, we got a sector scanned. Have we found anything interesting? Uh, oh, not particularly. No, not more than what we've already got, anyway. That's the main thing. Uh oh, it's becoming nighttime. Oh no, I need to get used to the controls again. I've been playing too many games. I've been playing loads of different games. I was playing Frostpunk like half an hour ago. <laughs> so all the controls are slightly different, just enough to annoy me. Oh, we found another rare metals deposit. That could be good. Okay, I think we are unloaded. Let's send it back to Earth. Bye, Vega-1! And then we should get a passenger rocket. Now, as far as I can tell, we can filter and choose what kind of people we want to be on our colony in Mars. Now, there's a week of time where they have to survive in order for us to get more people. I guess they don't want to send hundreds of people to Mars just to find out that they're going to die. But each person has a specialization. So see, that's a scientist, botanist, engineer, geologist. We can get 12 people on the first flight. We need a geologist to run the mines. We need a botanist to run farms. We need scientists to run research bases. Engineers? What do engineers do? Do they build things? Surely not. That's what drones are for. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find out. But uh, they also have traits, which some can be good, some can be bad. It's like that person that has a gambling. If they can't gamble, well, they have a 50% chance to lose 20 sanity when visiting a casino. It can be caused by sanity breakdowns. But they're also melancholic. Increased performance penalty when at low morale. It can be caused by sanity breakdowns. I don't know how much we need to worry about sanity, but mm, I'm sure we'll work it out. Greatly increased birth rate? Man, that's sexy! It's, uh... Oh no. Uh, eats double rations. What a greedy bastard. I may just leave it as it is for now, because I don't really know what I'm looking at. And I think straight away we kind of just need a few of each. Do we need so many engineers? I feel like we don't need so many engineers. I kind of like, I prefer to have more astrologists. Geologists, sorry, not astrologists. Close. Uh, oh, alcoholic, that's not great. Religious, higher individual base morale, low sanity, never leads to suicide. Suicide's a problem? Oh God. Gains twice as much comfort in gardens and perks. Let's get rid of an engineer. And add you. You seem good, even though you're religious. I don't know if that's going to cause any problems. We should probably pick a medic, because... 
we have a hospital, so at least having one medic would allow it to operate. Uh, we'll randomly visit med medical buildings and take sanity damage if unable to do so. Uh, okay, well, let's let's get rid of Alfred. I don't want to. <laughs> this is where I accidentally end up with an entire rocket full of men or women and end up ruining my chance of getting Martians. Uh, workaholic. Well, that seems brilliant. Welcome aboard. Why are they locked? Now, there is an argument to be getting younger people as well, because people will age and they will die of old age, which is not great. Uh, here's a breakdown. We don't have any officers, but we don't have an officer's base just yet, so that's going to be a huge problem. I don't think we're going to be getting, getting rebellions on Mars within the first sort of few years, days, whatever it is, but let's go with that. Let's launch that, and hopefully that will be here relatively quickly. I really hope that they can walk from here to here. That's quite a distance. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> if not, I'll have to land them over here somewhere, and we'll worry about it at a later date. I could now build the rare metals extractor so we can have it ready for them. Sector build it there. Ooh, we found an anomaly. What did we find? Right there. Look at it, RC Explorer. See what we can find. We're probably going to need some form of relaxation, some sort of morale boosting inside of this dome. But we will look at doing that at some point as well. We'll see what people demand when they get here. Oh, we found more concrete in sector I-6. Make sure we're still scanning. Scan these as well, might as well. Oh, ah, <laughs> I know what I've just remembered that I said I was gonna do. On the very first episode, everyone was like, why haven't you built any sensor towers? And I was under the impression that the RC thing with the sensor on it was an actual sensor tower, but no, that doesn't give me warnings or incoming meteor strikes or weather or anything like that. So I am gonna build myself a tower, uh, a sensor tower. So let's build this, where should we build it? I mean, ideally, we want to build it closer to where we haven't already scanned to get the increased bonus for it, but uh, let's, just, let's just build it there for now. And it's going to need some power. Hopefully this doesn't destroy my network. Power cable. There we go. That should allow... That should give us warnings when meteorites or dust storms or anything like that is going to hit us. The more we have, the better advanced warning we will get. Not that I actually know... Can we turn these off to stop them from being... Yes, we can. We can turn them off to stop them getting attacked, I think. Ooh, anomalies researched. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Uh, the follow following texts have been revealed on the research screen. Autonomous sensors and sustainable architecture. What is sustainable architecture? In-dome buildings require maintenance less often. Shifting focus away from fixing it to avoiding it is the natural step forward for any Martian habitat. That does seem like a very good idea. Ooh, hang on. No lot. Sensor towers no longer require power or maintenance. That's probably more important than what we've got, but now nah, we'll... I probably should have waited until we researched uh, the fungal plants. Well, worst case scenario, I will just get a farm or a uh, hydroponics hydroponics station if I have to. It will be okay. Look, there's the sensor. Ah, oh, we get an early warning of one sol in six hours if uh, something nasty is going to happen, so that's good. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that the amount of water we have is literally... Oh, we can produce up to three water. Okay. 
I was just worried because that was zero. Ah, well, minus 26. This is where wind turbines would come into play. It would allow us to gain power during the night. It's getting dusty. Can we, like, clean this off? Get the old spritz out? Squeegee it? Can we squeegee? Oh, here they come. How far off the research are we? I mean, I think they bring their own food with them. <laughs> Wait, passengers on board will die if the rocket doesn't land in 119 hours? Okay, let's not. Let's not mess around with this. Okay, dome's in walkable distance one. I'm really happy it tells me that, otherwise I would have been very upset. <laughs> Bring all my lovely new people to Mars just for them to die with it because they couldn't get to a, a dome. Would have been horrendous. I might build another landing pad here somewhere. Just because then we could land two rockets simultaneously. Look at the amount of metal we have. That's insane. Oh, here they come. Hopefully people will sort themselves into their perfect jobs. If I have to micromanage that, it's going to drive me nuts. Full of hope and determination, the first founders have set foot on the red planet. The next ten souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promises and opportunities. It is now to us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and, and a future of human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. So the effect of arrival of additional colonists temporarily suspended until the colony proves able to sustain human life. Your founder colonists must survive for ten souls before additional people can arrive. The colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends in the event that the first human is born on Mars. If you feel you are up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the founders as much as possible with the service buildings. Research complete. Oh. Milestone achieved. Ah, Loji Fungi, there we go. Let's quickly pop that in there so we can build more sensor towers in random places. And let's see if we can build ourselves a Loji Fungi. Building. Fungal farm. It's gonna be like Fallen London. We're gonna be eating mushrooms up here. That's all we can do. <laughs> base production six. Base production based on crop. I'm, I am slightly concerned that this is gonna be a problem. Wait, a stowaway? Hang on. A young girl was discovered on board the founder's rocket. Susie, a little stowaway, visibly around eight years old, managed to somehow bypass all security measures by sheer luck and sneaked aboard during pre-launch. Scared but excited, she explains that she wants to live on Mars and begs you to let her stay in the colony. This incident has already reported to Earth and her billionaire father has offered a significant reward for her safe return. Keeping her in the colony will certainly create a PR and political nightmare. Uh... Hmm, a hundred million dollars to send her back, or we can lose 10% funding, but gain a child colonist, I think we'll send her back. It's probably the wrong choice, but meh, it'll be fine. We don't have any food storage, do we? Let's get some food storage. Should I build food storage next to the dome? That seems smart, maybe. <laughs> build a food depot over here somewhere. Ah, because it's round. It's not going to look good. Let's build it there. You guys want to unload the rocket? All right, there they are. New colonists have arrived. Look at them go. Okay, well, we got another milestone. We got to produce food yet, so I should probably worry about that. But let's. I'm kind of worried we don't have enough water to support. A farm, but I guess we'll find out. A uh, fungal farm. Build that right there. Then it's going to need a pipe connecting to it, apparently. So we'll... Hopefully, we don't have minus one water. Even though we do have a large stockpile of water, so it would give me time to fix it. In theory, I could... Send a rocket with a moisture evaporator on it. That would solve the problem. We don't have any prefabs of those, do we? No. 
Oh, that doesn't have any power. That's problematic. Uh, can we daisy chain power from the dome, or does it need to be directly to what I was finding out, I suppose? Yeah, we can daisy chain. I love that people have already been assigned to their buildings. Uh, yeah, the grocer doesn't have anything, but there are people working there. And the diner. Specialization, wicked. And the medics are all filled out, but we do have people in the wrong place. But that's because she's a botanist, and we haven't quite managed to build the place where the botanist can work. The fungal greenhouse. Yeah, I put a lot of strain on my drones right now. But we do have... Food. So... Not like everyone's going to instantly starve. Sector scanned. Ooh, more rare deposits over here. Okay, well that, that'll be sites for expansion domes, I guess. Uh, do I have a research lab? Did I build a research lab? I didn't build a research lab, did I? Let's build a research lab. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's build it right there. More strain on the drones. I love these domes, they seem like such a marvel of technology. I wonder what happens if a meteorite strike hits the dome. I assume it will survive. Because <laughs> it's quite a big target, all things considered. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of... Ah, oh, that's waste rock. It's a shame we can't convert the waste rock into something else. It does say waste rock consumption, so I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be something that can do that? How much rare metals are we going to be producing? We have one! We have one rare metal! A single rare metal. Almost got everything in place here. Our electronics are looking okay, our machine parts are okay, and our polymers are all okay. Hopefully this will produce enough food. Okay, yep, who are you? Scientist? I don't want scientists and engineers, I want botanists! Uh, that's a very small amount of food. Is that a day? Oh, it's a day. 2.4 a day. Insufficient power, insufficient oxygen, insufficient water. Ah. Um. Well, power, power we can do. Power, power's not a problem. I hope. Uh, maybe it would have been easier to build it in the dome. It requires two oxygen. Oh, that could just be that it hasn't got power. Let's see what happens when we when we attach a cable to it. Insufficient water is a problem, though. So maybe I am going to have to. Uh... Research complete. Milestone achieved. Oh no. Okay, no, now it's working. Now we've connected it to the power grid. I'm guessing nothing was. Uh working. Produce food! Ah, extractor amplification technology. Uh, what else can we get here? Oh, we can build sterling generators. That's probably a good one. Or we can um, increase our storage capacity. I think that's, that's something that's very good. I'm probably missing all the things. There's probably like a list of things that you're supposed to do. And I'm just like ignoring it. We are low on power. Sector scan. Oh yeah, we are minus on power now. Okay, let's let's try some wind turbines. Uh, where should we build these? Uh, well, I guess we could branch off. How how much power are we down by? Seven. We're down by seven power. Each one of these does five. So if we build two. Work, is it okay? Uh, if I build down a bit and across a bit, and then build myself some wind turbines. I build two wind turbines. Apparently, these look really nice as well. So, can I make them nest together quite well? I can.
Let's hope we have all the resources, resources required. We do. Uh, if we run out of power before they build them, though, we are going to be in trouble. Can I make these high priority? Thank you. And yes. And those power cables relatively high priority. Because if our batteries run out, we are going to be working off of backups when it comes to everything. Come on, guys. Wait, we make wind turbines out of concrete? Hopefully we'll get a we'll get a Martian born, but I don't think so. Considering our morale's kind of low, comfort's kind of low. We need a relaxation building. Let's see if we can get one of those. What gives relaxation services? Uh, a space bar? A diner? Hmm. Yeah, we could always just put in a garden. Let's put in a garden. That gives relaxation. I don't know if it'll be enough relaxation. Wait, we have two buildings not working. Not enough workers. Ah. We don't have enough people to work all of the shifts. Uh, can I make one of these people work in the hospital? <laughs> I know it's it's not really your job. Oh god, minus 50, that's going to make him upset. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe we'll just not have the hospital open. Uh, you, mate, you want to work? You can work back in there if you want. Oh dear, the gross Surely the grocer should be working all the time. Let's get one of you people work in there. Because hey, if the grocer doesn't work, I think we might be in trouble. Oh look, we can change the way it looks. Damn, that's a cool looking place. Ah, oh, it just spins it around. We can rename the garden. I don't know why, but that seems really cool to me. Well, we are producing food. Reason I don't know if it's enough well. food. Uh-oh, power and food. How can we... Because we have one food, but there's more food in the here than six foods stored here. Okay, we'll, we'll temporarily see what happens here. Ah. Ooh, it is gathering exports. Should I wait for the exports to fill up? I should probably wait for the exports to fill up. Better to keep that working through the night, split those two people onto two shifts, or is it better to keep it as one shift? Ah! Ah! Uh, problem! Pro <laughs> Hypothermia? Oh god. Um. Let's just quickly build a lots of wind turbines. Yes, yes, maximum, maximum priority. Um, yes, I didn't think this through. It's back here. That's what I get for not doing the maths, isn't it? Let's just build a lot. That seems like a good idea. One more, one more. boost the priority on all of these. Even though that kind of defeats the point of boosting priorities, right? Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. Domes feature heaters which maintain a pleasant temperature of 23 degrees Celsius around the clock, protecting against the fluctuating temperatures of the fickle Martian atmosphere outside. The temperature inside the dome quickly decreases when the power supply is cut, and the colonists sure do feel the effects. If the situation remains unchanged, I'm afraid that it could be fatal. Colonists with the freezing status effect reside in a dome with an insufficient supply of power. Increase the amount of power accessible to the dome to prevent this. Okay. Oh, thank god, we survived the night. 
Okay, hypothermia is no longer a problem. We're still low on food, though. Don't think that fungal farm's going to produce enough food, you know. Even though there's food in the diner as well. Hmm. Quick, build the... F Man, these things do look cool. There we go. More than enough power. It's fine. Don't worry, just a... Oh, that looks dangerous. Uh... Oh, thank God. <laughs> that could have gone badly. Oh, we do have waste rock here. Oh, we have upgrades. Amplify. Plus 25% production, plus 10, 10 consumption. Ooh. That's not a thing. We're still low on power. Oh, that's just an old one. Okay. We're still low on food. Food is still an issue, but we'll find out. I feel like 1.8 food a day is not enough. We have two. We have two of those. How much are they worth? I can't remember. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find out. Ah, no resources there. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, we're minus one power overnight, which is considerably better than the minus 20 something that we had before. Resources are low. We are low on food. Ah. I should get a farm. I do have the farm. As a, but a building we can build. There's only a few people here. Research complete. Explorer AI, that's increased our research capacity, I believe. Utility crops. Unlocks new crops in farms and hydroponic farms that provide oxygen and improve soil quality. From the salad you eat to the air you breathe, plants have a fundamental role to play for humanity well beyond Earth. I guess there's one way of finding out what it is. Can I, I turn on that shift? Oh, we can only have one shift. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not great. We can't change what it grows. I'm trying to work out if it's just saying it's low because all the food's in the grocer and the diner, or if it's just genuinely low. I love the way that this consumes more oxygen than the whole dome. Oh, <laughs> how, does, how does that work? I suppose they are plants and they require oxygen, but how much does a farm need? It doesn't need any extra, so maybe... It, maybe temporarily I can build a farm? And just get rid of the fungal farm? Or turn it off temporarily? You know what, let's do that. Let's turn it off temporarily. Let's see if this fixes our problem. We'll keep it going until we've built the farm. Obviously, I'm not going to turn it off before. Because that could be problematic. I wish these guys would hang out. Oh, I suppose they've got to go over there to get the concrete. So never mind. I was going to say, I wish they'd hang out closer. But my fault for building the uh, stores of all the stuff really far away. This dome isn't doing too great on the older. Oh, they want luxury, gambling, no social. Okay, so if I power you down, it requires 1.6 water, which we seem to be able to provide because three is our maximum. We can set crops. So wheat is going to give us 17 food optimal. Growth time, two souls. We can also grow more stuff. Potatoes gives us 55, but it lowers the soil quality by 10%. Soybeans give us 40, but increase the soil quality. Wheat seems... Oh, wheat grows quick. Two souls, that's five souls. Well, what does soil quality actually mean? Because we seem to have started with a set of... 
that's... I mean, because soybeans give us 40, so technically... How much do they take? Five souls. Okay, let's let's see. Let's, let's, whoop, let's test this theory. Let's see if that gives us enough food. Oh, but either way, I think I'm going to have to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know you think your comments are greatly appreciated. Any advice is also greatly appreciated. I'm kind of flying completely blind right now. But either way, I'll see you next time.